we're trying to breed our goats for the very first time. Yeah, next year this won't be an issue. Right now, the these goats are just the right age to kind of start thinking about breeding, only because they're Nigerians. The little goats kind of develop and... Remind everybody how old they are. They are, let's see. They are just about six months, so. Six months old and they yep. can breed. Yep. So, <laughs> I don't know why it's about Gary. Give me your baby. Don't you want a tripod? So, at six months, they should be fine for breeding purposes and things like that. With with a larger breed goat, you'd want to wait until they're at least a year old and are of a good weight and things like that. But these guys are really good weight for their age and things like that. So, I'm not worried about them being able to breed or anything.
Okay. Down you go. Mm. Yeah, you don't put them. That's great. Yep. Okay, you can cup up if you want. No, I don't eat my shirt. Eat my sh don't eat my shirt. Yeah, that this is goat, my goat tea. Goat. So we're talking about breeding our goats today. We've already had Rogue over here, and now we've moved Valkyrie over here. Initially, my thought had been that I would take Striker, this goat, and I would put him because he's a tiny bit bigger than Lightning Bug. At least in terms of height, <laughs> not necessarily always width. I was gonna put him over in the girl goat pen with Rogue and Indigo, and I was gonna keep Lightning Bug over here, and then I was gonna have Valkyrie over here. And so we made that switch, but then Striker is still a little too small to be able to deal with Indigo. I know that goats will fight and buck and do their thing and stuff, but I was a little nervous about it because of all our Nigerian goats, Rogue is the biggest one. She's quite hefty. <laughs> She's a chunk. And Indigo is like twice their size. So they, they were really kind of picking on him and he was scared and hiding behind me and shivering. And so I just was like, okay, I need to do this differently. He's still too small to be in here with these big goats. When, once he's completely full-sized, like as big as, as Rogue, then I think it will be fine to have him in there. He can hold his own. But they, they seem to have developed their little buck attitudes and things like that though. So we've had them in here and essentially what we've decided to do is we had Rogue in here and we think Rogue was bred because the boys were interested in her and she was letting them do their thing. Brian actually only saw Lightning do his thing, but oh, I've also careful. seen Stryker getting his little stuff extended and making all kinds of faces yeah. and peeing on himself. And so I don't think either one of them has any issues <laughs> at this point. So, so, um, what we're going to have to do though now because of it's really distracting in here because the goats are chewing on the tripod here, and they're here, wiggling around <laughs> but this is what makes it entertaining is, is being in here with where you can see the goats yep. and seeing Brian hold a 50 pound goat on his lap <laughs> it smells like pee <laughs> Have you been peeing on yourself? She pees right there. <laughs> yes, you've been peeing on yourself. High five. No. <laughs> That's gross. Where was I? Anyways, what the plan is now, the new plan. You're too is nibbly. That too nibbly. We're going to put the, the goats in here with the boys one by one. So Rogue had her turn, and now poor Valkyrie has her turn. She's not very happy with it. I, I think Rogue was sort of like whatever after an hour but she's she whines at me every morning and i have to feed her all by herself because she won't eat with boys and she won't push them out of the way and she's just she's a princess she's a princess goat i love her she's my favorite <laughs> she's my princess <laughs> the plan is is to have the goats in here with the boys one by one let them get bred hopefully we'll have maybe three to four weeks between each of the does. So we'll have Rogue go first. She's a little bit he bigger, heavier go. And then we'll have Valkyrie go. Assuming they get pregnant, the thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take blood samples from the boys so that we can do DNA testing on, on the, the offspring. So we'll know, you know, was it a striker baby? And this is striker or was it a lightning bug it sort of is like what you would do maybe if if you had an accidental breeding or something like that but yeah. this way we'll we'll be really sure of what happened and whose it is and things like that and since we'll have our goats genetics on file and things it will be a little easier in the future if we need to know 
about something related to offspring or something like that, we'll already have that DNA on file. So that will be good. Well, the video I took earlier was just super cute to see these little goats going through some of the motions, some of the comical behavior of the, the mating patterns of goats. That's so, right. Come here. You know, the, the head nuzzling and the, the sneezing and the, the licking and it's, it's kind of funny to watch. Some of the vocalizations. Yeah. I imagine the goats, when they get even a little more mature, it'll mm -hmm. be even more pronounced. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when they were about three months old, and that's when Stryker kind of started doing his little lip curling thing when he would pee and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then I think Lightning was maybe a little older than that, maybe four months. So they've definitely been being cute lately, haven't they? This last part of the video is kind of funny. I was having a little trouble putting the GoPro harness on Rogue when we were taking her back to the girl goat pen. Come here, Rogie. Come here, Rogie. You're not Rogue. You're so bumpy. You're making the bumpiest noises. You're too old, but yeah. <laughs> okay, hold still. Oh. Hold still, Rogue. I really don't want to scratch your face. I saw you do it. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. We'll fix it, Brian. Don't play with this girl's gonna get out. Striker's not gonna go anywhere. Stinky. Okay. Hey, stinky goat.
on, Rogie. Let's go find dinner. What do you see? Plants for me to chomp. <laughs> hmm? Come on. Don't fall. Maybe Rogue wants to walk around the house. She doesn't like this. Let's go around the house. Long indigo. Nothing to see here. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Oh, you're a good cook. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. These goats really are sweet and very playful. If nothing else, it's been fun watching them interact. Yeah, you need mama to hold it. You need mama to hold it. So does me chair doesn't fuck him off. Yes. Needs mama to hold it. Okay, take a tinkle now. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, Wendy. That's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> 